Okay, so these three different pictures kind of summarize two different things. Um, the first two being allosteric regulation of enzyme activity and this one being cooperativity. So just to kind of go over a little bit of what um, everything is in the picture. Up here, um, this space right here would be the active site. Um, and then this right here is the allosteric site. And so this, this part right here as a whole would be the active form. Then you go over here and this would be the inactive form. Um, down here we have the activator. And um, this is the active form stabilized by an allosteric activator molecule. And over here we have the inhibitor. And this is the inactive form stabilized by an allosteric inhibitor molecule. And down here we have cooperativity. This would be the inactive form of enzyme. And uh, up here would be the substrate. And this would be the active form stabilized by a substrate molecule. Uh, okay, so to start, um, we're going to start up here with these two. And together those kind of summarize allosteric regulation of enzyme activity. So what takes place up here at the first uh, in the first picture is conformational changes in allosteric enzymes. So most allosteric enzymes are constructed from two or more polypeptide subunits, each having its own active site. The enzyme oscillates between two conformational states, one active and the other inactive. And remote from the active sites are allosteric sites, which you can see right there. Um, and specific receptors for regulators of the enzyme, which may be activators or inhibitors. And then over um, to this one, this demonstrates allosteric regulation of the enzyme's activity. Basically what takes place here is that um, here we can see the opposing effects of, allosteric, of an allosteric activator and an allosteric inhibitor on the conformation of all four subunits of an enzyme. And then over to cooperativity down here, we can see that in an enzyme molecule with multiple subunits, the binding of one substrate molecule to the active site of one subunit causes all the subunits to assume their active conformation. So you can see the substrate up here and the active form stabilized by a substrate molecule. 